Club in San Antonio. We're going to be broadcasting putting this interview out on um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and also some blogs and things. So how did, so, um, how did y'all get involved with the project? Well, my boyfriend's done six clubs before, and he lives in New Orleans now. He um, would tell me how great it is, and I took some vacation time and flew down from Seattle. So you came from Seattle to work on this project here? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. And yourself? Um, I actually found out through uh, Robert O'Hagan right here. Um, he did a flu trip. Thursday? Thursday, yeah. Thursday, and he came to work and put the word out, and that's how I found out. And I know Shiloh and Catherine personally. Um, Shiloh and I were hurt and we healed together in the burn center. So, you, so you're a wounded warrior yourself? Then. Yes, yes. So you came out here to help out with Shiloh on this project? Yes, sir. They're, they're both uh, friends, and they deserve it, and I wanted to help out. Well, how's, it, how's it feel working on this house? Oh, it feels great. They, they deserve it. I like to give back, especially to other wounded soldiers. And that's what I'm doing right now is a job, giving back to those who help me. Awesome. So what did you do inside the house? The um, I'm working in a uh, Toy Story room, helping build the village and the train. Oh, cool. Fantastic. And yourself? I'm, I'm working on the same project with, uh, with Mike and uh, her boyfriend, Les. And uh, originally I got involved, uh, my wife looked on it online. She looked at all the details, and I didn't, couldn't squeeze it into my work schedule because I work with the Wounded Warriors full time. But we got tasked to go and do stuff down at the parade. But they surprised us. And rather than just tasking us to do duties, they put us on the floats and ran us through the, the Christmas awesome. parade. Afterwards, they uh, escorted us all and put us on stage. And we got to watch the, uh, the filming with the, when 10 other wounded warriors were presented home. How did that feel when you saw the 10 other wounded warriors get done? Oh, it's, it's fantastic because uh, several of them were actually warriors that went through our uh, battalion and uh, went through our program with Watch Healing transition so it was, it was nice to see these guys get custom homes that are fitted for their wounds for their injuries to help them. So that's a key point to these homes. They're actually not only are they just designed and built, they're built for the particular warriors for the needs that they have right here. Yeah exactly. Like all the uh, uh, soldiers have had major boon, uh, burn wounds, they need uh, temperature control and they have, have floor homes they also uh, because the wounds aren't just you know, we see the burns on the external side but they also have internal wounds, lung and uh, nasal wounds so they need special filtration systems, so they have air that's a more friendly, a more adapted to their body. So a lot of the, the homes that get donated to the wounded warriors have those built in. A lot of them will have uh, extra wide hallways, extra wide doorways put in, ramps and stuff. They have uh, people that are double amputees have issues going up and down stairs. So they'll get them, they might own, they own a home, but they own a two-story home, because that's what they had before they went to war. Right. And what they'll do is they'll get them into a, a larger single-story home that's more friendly, so they could be uh, more productive in the home. Let me ask you, so now you come down from Seattle to just build that. What are you going to tell your friends back in Seattle about this? Uh, just how fun it was and how many awesome people I've met. And it's you painted a lot. Yes, all I've done is paint. All you've done is paint here. So, so, so you're going, you're going to have, have you, have you met Charlotte before or anything? No. So no, I didn't get here until Tuesday, door knock before I got here. So today you'll possibly get the opportunity to yeah, paint maybe. your things. Yeah. That's fantastic. And maybe what would you tell the family if you see them? Thanks for your service. And so good to see um, and continue on with